All right, we got part two. Matting was off, but here we go. Part two. So you're looking down in here. What you have here is the cavern, okay? I hope y'all can see that. Here's the cavern. Now, you have a place for the water bladder as well. I'm trying to do this. There's a place for the water bladder as well. Water bladder right here. Water bladder slide down in here. And then you have the main area, which is empty. Take a look in there. You can see it. There you go. Look at, look at the mouth of the whale, Jonah. All right, there you go. So I'm looking at it here. You just got the, you got the, uh, you got the document flap. You got the zipper for the uh, the carrier plate. I mean, uh, not the carrier plate. I'm just, for the back plate that uh, fixes your back and it's conformed to your back. I'll go over that in a minute. Then you have the water bladder part. You see that? I hope y'all can see that. Okay, enough of that. Okay. So that's pretty much it for that. Now, the straps. Let's go for the straps. The straps look beefy, y'all. They look pretty beefy. They're very similar to the Matilda, so they're not they're not super padded, but this pack is probably only good to carry about 25 pounds, maybe 30. It's not a very big pack. I believe it's a, um, I believe it's about maybe a 21 liter, but the way it's proportioned, you could do a lot of damage with it. The back panel here, it's got this nice little shape here, almost like an Atari. Looks like uh, the tar must be big in Poland. You got the sternum strap. Let me unbuckle that real big. You'll get. You got the Atari symbol right here, y'all. Let's do that. Pif Let's do pitfall right here. We can do it. Let's see who wins. Space Invaders. All right. So you got the uh, the back panel here. The padding that looks like an Atari or some ancient symbol. If you're going through some rune stones, but boom, it's right here. It's really nice. Okay. Now, I like the material. It's a little different than. I like this material a lot. I like this probably better than I do the Matilda. Um, but the Matilda is a dope pack. I love both. But this is a Kodor. I don't, it doesn't say how much it is. But it's a nice Kodor material. I'll put all the exact Kodor and stuff in the description. But Netherleft, this is, this is good. This is bushcrafting. This ain't a combat pack. But I think it'd do well. But it'd do really well in bushcraft. It's not too thick and it's not too light. The pack is pretty light though itself. I don't know, maybe a pound or two if that. It's very light. I mean, you could, you could, you could judo throw this eat any day. All right, and they got the three classic, three classic pockets that the Alice had, that the uh, medium Alice pack had. Let's see. Oh, okay. So these, hold on, give me one second here. So we got one right here, one right here. Boom. We got. You got this right here. This one has a drawstring right here. This one has a drawstring that comes out. You can stick your water bottles here. You can stick maybe a, uh, um, a fire kit, a medical kit. And you got the three. So it got the three Amigos right here. Just like on the regular classic Alice pack. Just like on the classic um, Matilda pack, which was their first rendition. Now, the funny thing is, this pack's the same price as the Matilda. This pack's roughly 100 to 120, 125. Matilda, I've seen it online for $97. And the Matilda's a bigger pack. It's a bigger pack. Um, I think it's made of more of a, a nylon, but it's a really tough pack as well. Um, yeah, this is basically uh, a smaller Matilda, but with different features. It's a little different. It's not the exact same. So keep in mind, if you wanna go light, you wanna go creative, you wanna get this. It has a, um, a grab handle here. Now, it is, it is pretty small. I could fit maybe three, what is that, four fingers? Yeah, I got five fingers. I don't have six anymore. I got four fingers right here. So you grab it, boom. It's a good pack, a uh, good um, handle. Looks like it was this thick and they folded it up and they, they stitched it. So that's a good look right there. It's a simple, you don't need to make a big deal about it. It's a simple, you grab it and go. I know people make, make a big deal about grab handles, but for a pack like this and its price point, it does the job. What can I say? I'm excited to try this out. I might try this out this weekend. I'm thinking I might dip out this weekend. The sternum strap looks good. looks legit. The uh, buckles 
feel good. They don't feel cheap. They feel like they can get smashed by the uh, trunk of your car and still survive. If you ever done that. Now, is there a waist belt? Yes, there is. They threw in a waist belt. Okay, it's not a harness. It's nothing heavy duty, but it's a belt. And the buckle, buckle's pretty big, but not too big. Open up, boom. Boom. So it's a really good waist belt here. You see? This bag looks nice. Let me let me throw it on real quick. Let me make sure it's off. Hold on, give me one second. Y'all stand by, talk amongst yourself. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can. Hold on. It feels really good. I like I like this coyote. Because I have I have the uh, Matilda pack in the um the the olive drab and I wanted to switch it up with this uh, Coyote Tan. It's really good, it feels really good. It feels good on the back, which is nice. Sternum strap in effect. Let's see the uh, waist strap. It's easy to, uh, let's see here. Live TV, folks. All right, here we go, waist strap city. Here we go, boom. Let me see something. Too many damn phones. All right, here we go. So the waist strap, I'm about, I'm, I'm like 5'11". Not the company, but 5'11". Um, I don't know much I weigh, I've been losing weight, I've been working out, I don't know if you can tell since my first video. But I probably am still 200 pounds. But, um, Maybe a little bit more, but that'll go away soon. I've been working hard. Ain't no sense of being in the gear and stuff and you know, you're overweight and can't move. So, you know, I have to keep that up. So anyway, yeah, the pack looks nice, man. I, I definitely recommend it. It's a good pack. It's the Helicontex Virgin. And they gave a story of something about, I guess during World War II, there was like a small thing of, like they had a, virgin packs that were given something in Poland or something or I don't know they have a good story about it if you go to their website but yeah this is official helicon text this ain't no Folex this ain't no fake pack this is the real deal holy feel right here yeah helicon text roughly about 100 150 got this off of eBay brand new uh, I believe the seller was called uh, BGIAST BGIAST um, I ordered it took about two weeks to get here. They were really good. I was thinking it was gonna come in December, but they, they sped it up uh, Just out of the kindness of their heart. So they were legit. So yeah, BGIAST I believe um, eBay they were legit and um, Shout out to Poland For designing it and shout out to Vietnam for putting it together. But yeah, it's a Polish company And uh, they got it right. They got the Polish champ and Jan Blokovic and they also got the champ and the Heligon Virgin uh, in the backpack of Bushcraft. So yeah, if um, like I said, skill first, gear second. So you get your skill, you get your gear, and you go out there and do it. Um, stay on the hunt, stay on the grind. And I just want to say, um, through all the stuff that uh, is going on, y'all keep your heads up and keep aiming high. want to say I love y'all. Y'all, yeah, I'm out. Skills first, gear second is the second exodus.